So let's plan tomorrow's trips. Cheesecake. Give me some of that cheesecake. Day 154. Uh, what happened today? You. Ava and I completely missed our mark because we intended to wake up at like 7.30 to go eat breakfast and I heard my alarm, put it to snooze. Now it's 10.57 and we're like three hours behind. So it's perfect because at 11 some Iku Hatsune thing goes on sale. So Okay, so we're lining up for Iku Hatsune stuff and I'll just I don't even know. In. <laughs> I actually don't know what it's for. I just know it's Iku Hatsune. I think we get like little cards so that we come back tomorrow and buy stuff. I'm thoroughly confused as to what we're doing right now. We ended up lining up for something we had no idea what we were doing for. And then we got out of line after like 45, 50 minutes. Yes. And then we wandered to the second floor, which actually had more wiki stuff. Then we walked around, bought some merchandise. Oh. This is where everything is. Hi, Miku. Miku everywhere. Yeah. Come on, it's otaku culture. Miku. Miku everywhere. Postmodern Hatsune Miku art. How badass. Jeez. So and Ava and I just bought the Miku swag and we're gonna have fun with the rest of this floor. Yeah, DIY Miku. I have never seen so much dedication to anything other than Pokemon since I've been here. Hi Miku. Hi Miku. So, oh, story about Miku. From what I know anyway, she's a character on this program called Vocaloid. Basically, it's like FL Studio, you make your own music, but you can throw in a voice. And she is the mascot of that voice, and she got extremely popular for some reason. Over time, she's gotten so popular that she has her own PlayStation game, a live concert, an arcade game, and sponsorship on race cars. That's a PlayStation game. Dolls. That's how the program operates for the voice. That's her live. And see, her albums have hit like platinum and gold and stuff. Basically, we lined up for. Oh, that's where the other lineup went. <laughs> we lined up for getting an app where you put your hand out and the Miku shows up and they take a picture. Oh, there she is. Holy shit, Miku live! This is the first concert I'm allowed to record. <laughs> Super creepy. After that, we went outside, it started snowing, and then we went to Matsuya to eat lunch. Well, that was a pretty sound experience. Oh my god. Interesting, creepy, and scary. Let's go eat! Matsuya for lunch. Let's do it. Holy shit, this is 580 yen. Then we went to Sapporo Station and then we tried to look for the Pokemon Center. We found it at S-Stop. And then walked around in there. It took longer than usual because... We were distracted by the arcade there. Oh yeah, there was an arcade. And there was a guy that was doing something Kuji. Mm -hmm. Price thing. Will we draw the... Oh! Right. She won a cup and stuff like that and I won the towel or something. This is Yucho Ginko. If you are a foreigner, you'll probably be withdrawing money from this bank if you don't have a card here. La 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 Esther building! Okay, let's go find the elevator. Ninth floor! Oh, Pokemon! Everywhere. This is really twisted. This is like gambling for children, and then there's Taiko for children, and then like shooting rats for children. There are kids and pets. Konnichiwa! Hi, buddy! Hey, it's like that Pokemon, Eamonka. Hi, so cute! Welcome to Sapporo Pokemon Center! Hold on. Pokemon Kuji, Ichiban Kuji. Okay, 500 yen, try to win something. Gee! I got a towel, she got that. Okay, now let's venture into this Pokemon Center. I thought, this is okay. Whoa. Why is there a bunch of this new fangled crap? Where's like Piplup? This is his region. He shouldn't be like upstage like freaking Oshawott here. Yeah. Move out of the way, children. Yeah, they're so spoiled. Holy crap, I just almost ran over this kid. This is the Sapporo only merchandise. That's it. Okay, they have this. I don't want Zuru Goo. This thing sucks. <laughs> I say, I should just make my videos like this. Then it'll be much easier. Hi. Hmm. Yes. Tail whip. Yeah. Yay. Go for it. 
Oh. Yay. Nice. Then we headed for the Sapporo Beer Museum. Yeah, it's for the beer factory. Whoa! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go. Goo, goo, goo. Yay, Nurse Joy was actually nice this time and gave me like a bunch of these Pokemon stickers. <laughs> now let's open these. Oh my gosh, I got Zoroark! Oh my god! Does that mean I get Reshiram now? Okay. Let's go. Wow! What is that? Yeah, my Pokemon bag is all wet because it just got splashed. It's not very effective. Let's enter this communist regime. There's red stars everywhere. And Koreans as well. Burn Paris. More traveling tips. Look for pamphlets in English and Japanese because you can find discount coupons, usually in the Japanese ones only. I'm not much of a drinker, as you know that. Yes, but I want to drink. <laughs> okay, well, let's get this museum started then. What's up? Initial plans to make beer. The road leads to Hokkaido. So they came to Hokkaido. So this is history. It's free, so probably not much info worth taking it. Okay, so see that red building? That's where the atom bomb. I mean, I'm just kidding. This is, I guess, where it was. So according to this map, we actually live like somewhere here. here, and then we took a bus over to the red, I guess. Yep. This is hot. Smell it. I know to say fragrance. So first, everything comes from the heavens, where the beanstalk grows down from. And then they cultivate, they move all the way to this mill where they burn shit, and then this guy's like flinging around at the top, sleeping. And then, this is where they malt stuff, and wart production. Then the stream of beer goes over to fermentation and maturation or filtration, where these little like monkey snowmen push huge crates, and then only that much comes out. Then. This comes with filling and shipping, where this one drunkard guy at the top sleeps, so that all the foam comes out, and then that's where they ship it off for this one lonely horse and boat. The Genbaku Dome. Just kidding. Citron. Memories of people and oh. Mm. 1980, not 69. Let's do something trippy I learned in like film. In the war efforts, not like those American ones, but you got geishas and children waiting for you at home. Oh man. Women. Women. And somewhere along the way, men got into the mix, and now it's like just men. And that pretty much concludes the tour. Now let's go drink. Let's drink, drink, drink. Okay, now we got our beer tickets. Now let's get some booze. This is the black label. It's a popular one since 1977. This one is 100% malt. It tastes most like beer. This is Kitakushi beer. And it's made from original recipe. Dedicated to Frank and Evelyn. I got beer crackers, something here, more nuts, some curry things, and three beers. Hokkaido only classic. Uh oh. I'm sorry. Bye bye. I'm throwing in the towel. I had 60% of each one. That's good enough for me. Oh shit, I can feel my head oozing. Here's some cheese. So I definitely have an allergy because my legs are numb. That ain't normal. Yeah, and Ava's slightly tipsy. Frank, Evelyn, we wish you were here. I love you were here. We'll see ya. Ava's out. It flicked me in the face for no reason. Huh? No. No way. <laughs> oh, After drinking, we limped back to Sapporo Station by bus. Oh, we went back to Esta. Sapo fact. Okay. Okay. So that concludes our beer garden trip. There's a pretty scenery out there, but for the sake of catching this train, a bus, we didn't do anything. Sapporo Beer Garden. <laughs> Back by Sapporo Station. Ah, oh, it's nice and warm. Back in Esta. AKB and 3D. Oh, you can actually kind of see the depth. Can it? Kind of. Imposter Ava. Real Ava.
Let's gamble like children. Totally classy Pokemon game. Ah. Yeah, maximum tune. Osaka. Okay, let's try to play this one. Woo! We're going to do some Gundaming. So, handle, handle, pedals. I have no idea how this works. So, in order to do it, we have to, uh... What's that? Voice type. We have to get a pilot card first. Here's your Gundam. Yay! Uh, I don't know what to do. Uh, sure, this one. Jack Boomy Gundam. Oh, shit. <laughs> what am I doing? <laughs> Okay, so what you have to do is get a car from the machine over there. Then you can play once for free. Then you have to go back to the machine, and then you get to change your Gundam or whatever. And then, yeah. Now we're playing again. After you level up, you go back to this machine and you put your card back in. I don't know what this means, just choose something random and then just press start. Ava's getting really good at this. Kill, kill, kill. Back in the PC we go for more Pokemon shenanigans. At least now you can actually see everything without children being obstructive. Okay. Hi, Pokemon Center. Yeah. Pretty much it. Shirami. No wonder there were so many people today. It's like a Batrio thing, and then there's a competition today and tomorrow. Oh hey, my school has ice cream, and now we're going to eat ramen, Sapporo ramen. Jeez, this is like Fukuoka all over again. Oh wow, hi Canada! What? This is fun. La 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 la. Ah, this one. Sapporo ten. Okay, let's try this one. The fuck! Every time Ava opens one, she gets Zekrom. Can you believe that? What's this? This looks like sewage. Sewage? Okay, so Sapporo is known for miso ramen. That just tastes like Chinese food. This one tastes like tonkotsu mixed with nori, which is seaweed. This ramen is a little thicker. As you can see, it kind of curls. And hers is even thicker. Can't order extra noodles, so next best thing, according to this, dump rice into the soup. So, dump rice into the soup. Then we had ice cream, and then we went to... Yeah, but this time it was like 10-ish. Time for some school ice cream. Hell yeah! Five bucks! You know, whenever I played Pokemon, I always wondered if there were actual like underground tunnels that existed. Turns out there are. It's the coolest looking train divider compartment I've ever seen. Good, Yeah. 40 hours later, we're finally going to see Yuki Matsuri, the snow festival. And what the F? Ha! High TV tower! <laughs> Um, let's get this party started, even though I just wrapped up. High moon. Sand for the ice. Please use it freely. Yes, in Sapporo, you get free sand to sprinkle over the snow as you wish. Damn yeah. rich Japanese. Oh, smoking space made of ice. Wow, there's a saber tooth. Um, Unfortunately. I don't know. There's a. I don't know. And more. Yeah, so we went to Yukimatsuri and we started from like block one of like 12. And initially we were just planning to walk like four blocks, hit one of the train stations, and then go back. By the time we hit there, my camera died. And then we wandered all the way to the ninth or tenth block. Actually, we're to the eleventh. Oh. Okay, so maybe there's like 15 blocks, I don't know. We rode the train back. Yes, the train system is like an H, so we rode the middle part of the H, and then headed back to the hotel. We bought some food. Pizza bun, chicken, and some yogurt in the fridge. And now we're gonna eat some food, and then take a shower. Hey! Hey! Anyways, let's day 154.